Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about servers. Now I've done a bunch of videos on how to play with people. Uh, I'm going to try to take you through every single section um, with playing with friends. Uh, I, we're gonna start at the beginning and this is going to be a multi-part thing. So over the next week or two, you will continue to see videos. If you haven't seen them, if you're watching this later, uh, obviously these videos will all be linked down below as they come out from part to part. Uh, so we're gonna take you step by step. You can watch each part. You can watch what part you wanna watch. Um, but this first part is going to be talking about uh, the different options you have available to you. Uh, uh, and then the other parts that will be down below as the weeks go by will give you how to do certain settings and certain ways to play those uh, specific parts. Um, the first one is going to be talking about, uh, you, you can go to official. Uh, official is always an option that you have. Uh, you can go right down here on the joined arcs uh, under official servers. You can see there's a bunch of them there. Uh, you can go to any official server. These are maintained and hosted by Wildcard. Uh, there's official legacy servers that are on here. Uh, and then you can jump into unofficial. Unofficial, you can host yourself or you can join someone else's hosted server. Um, I personally have one down below. If you wanna join ours to play with your friends on PC only, uh, you can go ahead and do that down in our Discord uh, link down below on that one if you want to. Uh, but uh, you can go ahead and join any of these servers. Some of them are instant tame, some of them aren't. There are stats out there, uh, all kinds of information. You can play with mods, no mods. Uh, on PC, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, uh, you can only play on those. Uh, the next is going to be non-dedicated sessions. This is basically someone hosting off of their computer. You can host up to four people, uh, and there is a tether, a tether being a bubble within that people can play in. If they leave the bubble, um, they will get booted back to you. Uh, only on PC can you expand the bubble to where people can pretty much touch the entire map uh, in general. Uh, on Xbox and PlayStation 4, you cannot do that. Next is going to be um, all the ones that you've added for favorites and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, that's all going to be on here, my survivors, anywhere that you've got characters, uh, where they're going, what they're doing, and the status they're currently in, including a land session. Um, those are the options you have to play with people. Now the question becomes, it's a common question I have in a bunch of my links down below or in my comments, a lot of my videos are, who can I play with? What system can play with what system? So let's go ahead and start working our way through each one. Let's go ahead and start with PC. PC is the only system right now that has mods. PC can only play with Steam players with mods. If you have no mods, you can play with Epic game players. So that means if you have Steam, an epic you can play together but you cannot use mods those are the only ways you can play with a steam version of the game and an epic version of the game i'm being specific because there is a third game that you can get on pc that is the windows version of arc that is inside the windows store and that is connected to your xbox version so if you have a the windows version and an xbox you want to play with you can play those together Normally, Xbox can only play with Xbox, but because you have a Windows, you can play the Windows version with an Xbox version and create that. No mods. PlayStation 4 can only play with PlayStation 4. Mobile can only play with mobile. So let's go over that one more time just to be clear so we can try to avoid many of the comments that come up that I see consistently. PlayStation 4 can only play with PlayStation 4. Xbox can only play with Xbox other than the Windows version of the game. So Xbox and the Windows version of the game can play together. Steam with mods can only play with Steam. Steam without mods can play with Epic if they want to. Epic can only play with Epic or Steam if they want to, if they've got a version for both of those. Mobile can only play with mobile. So again, everyone understands those are the ways that you can play. That's how you're going to handle um, joining in ARC, and those are the options you have to play with on other systems. So let's talk about hosting now and what all this craziness means. So this time what we're going to do is we're just going to cover on these hostings is what each button down here means and what it gets you to. After that, we're going. the next part of the video is going to be talking about these server settings and understanding the ones within the game specifically. We are not going to expand beyond the ones that are directly in here for that next video. But First option is play single player. That's playing by yourself, playing on your dev your own server, on your own computer. You save it, you set your own settings, uh, and then you can pause and play as much as you want by yourself. Then that is actually tied to your non-dedicated session. So what I'm trying to say here is you have two options. 
Um, you can see here that this is, you've got two options on here and basically you have the dedicated, so this is all dedicated data, and this is single player data. Your single player data is shared with your hosting a non-dedicated session. A hosting a non-dedicated session allows you to play with four, up to four people with a tether on your system. So that means you can play single player and you can also play with friends. Cup up to four, that's an option. You don't need another computer to host it. You can play it by yourself. However, you have a tether. You can expand it if you're on PZ in separate settings. That means these two are tied and those are your settings here. If you host a dedicated server off of it, you will have another setting over here on the side that you can delete that'll show that too. And that you just hit run dedicated server and it will run on itself. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation 4, this is probably the way you're going to run it is by running a dedicated server on a separate system. Uh, once again, I will say that on Xbox and PlayStation 4, you must run it on a separate system or rent a server. Renting a server is always an option through Nitrondo and all the other types of games like that. You can always rent a server, but you have to pay monthly. You have to pay per slot and all those things. If you're trying to avoid that, what I'm trying to say is you have to have a second Xbox or a second PlayStation 4 in order to host it yourself. On top of it, there are a lot of network settings, which we are going to cover in another video about challenges and things you need to overcome on hosting a actual server so that's another video as i said there are a lot of videos and a lot of parts to this and that's why they're not all coming out at once is because hosting a server is not super easy and going getting through some of the challenges of hosting a server even hosting a non-dedicated server can have some of those same challenges whether it's around your nat settings whether it's around having your proper ports open whether it's you need a static ip sometimes it's there are a lot of problems that come with it and this is going to give an option with it and then, of course, the last one is creating procedural arc. Procedural arc is pretty much just a random map that you create uh, from the things. And you have individual saves for each map. Uh, and there are no major issues within that, but that's how you will handle it within the settings. Um, and then after that, it's all settings and whatever you want it to do. Overall, these are the options you have to play with them. As I said, this is a general introduction to showing you how to play with people. Part two is going to cover very specifically the settings. We're going to go over each one of these settings, what the slider means and how it means on here, including the advanced settings and what each button literally means when you click it or unclick it. We'll take our time through that. You can check it out and we will talk about it. The next video we're going to have is going to actually be going in and showing you how to host dedicated servers on both Xbox and on PC. I will not show you how to do it on PS4. I do not own a PS4. However, pretty much the exact same as it is for Xbox. So if you follow the Xbox One, the only difference is you're going to be using a P PlayStation 4, not an Xbox to do it. Uh, and then after we complete that, we will go into depth further on settings. So we will go into a PC server settings one where we can go in and add mods. You can do it on your personal computer or if you're going in and you're doing it through ASM. We will cover both of those. And then after that, we're going to go over the challenges that you're going to face when you're trying to host it. Um, there are a lot of parts to this. That's why this is going to be a multitude of videos. They are all not going to come out in the same day. This is a long process. And I want you all to understand that we will get through it all together. So if you're looking to start one this is the point one is understanding what you want to do for your server and who you want to play with and how many people you want to play with and what you want to limit um, I do want to note one more thing that is the question that we will ask and that is the question that you always need to answer so the question is if I want a 24 7 server you need to run a dedicated server that's the only option you have or join a official server those are the pretty much the two options you have for a 24 7 server if you just want to play when your friends are online you're online you want to play together host a non-dedicated session, have a blast with it. Uh, it. Beyond that, I wouldn't worry too much about it, um, but those are pretty much the two options you have. If you want to play by yourself, you hit the single player button and you keep moving. Uh, but that's what we have, that's what we're seeing, and that's the progress we have as an option. So that's going to do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, in the comments down below, if you have specific questions you want me to answer, if you're catching this before, I actually post the next videos and the FAQ and the constant problems. Put them down below. If you want to see a specific video down below, let me know. I am creating these and they will continue to be expanded on and they will continue as multiple parts uh, and we will cover all the questions around server settings. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.